You know, I've never seen this shit on camera. I look like I'm uh, selling ice cream, but I also eat all of it. Welcome to this week's edition of Get Fact, the show where we pick a topic and jam as many facts into five minutes as we can. This week's topic is pirates. Are you ready? You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. Here are some surprising facts about pirates you might not know. A lot of pirate ships were actually very democratic. The captain was elected by the crew and significant decisions were often made collectively. Except for what music to sing, that was always R&B. I'm a terrible pirate. Some pirate crews had what could be considered an early form of health insurance. Pirates injured in battle would be compensated with money or gold for lost limbs or injuries. Obviously prices varied. I mean, legs were worth quite a bit, but you'd only get a buck an ear. Everyone wants a piece of the gentleman pirate. Pirates didn't bury a whole lot. The popular image of pirates burying their treasure is largely a myth. You didn't come all this way to not dig something up. Most pirates spent their loot quickly on alcohol, provisions, and entertainment. Besides, all the treasure they did bury was really easy to find, because booty is only shin deep. Oh. Pirates often operated out of pirate havens, places where they could safely repair their ships, resupply, and spend their ill-gotten gains. Can't really blame them for taking a little R and R. I can't stop. Not all pirates were outlaws. Some were privateers who operated with the approval of their government during times of war. Privateers were given letters of marquee that legally allowed them to attack and capture ships of enemy nations. Which is kind of weird because letter is generally not a pirate's strong suit. I mean, they often got stuck at sea. Like the, like the alphabet, but also the ocean. I'm not a pirate. I'm an idiot. Here are some interesting facts about famous pirates. Edward Teach, better known as Blackbeard, with light fuses tucked under his hat and into his beard, creating a demonic aura to intimidate his enemies. My Aunt Janice, surprisingly, has the same sort of aura, not because of fuses or piracy. She's just the devil. Because women have crystals in their body and the crystals attract demons. Bartholomew Roberts, also known as Black Bart, operated under a strict code of conduct aboard his ship. This included no gambling and lights out by 8 p.m. <laughs> That's why I don't have any friends. John Rackman, also known as Calico Jack, designed the iconic Jolly Roger flag featuring a skull over crossed swords that became synonymous with piracy. But every pirate had his or her own flag. In fact, I found a pirate flag generator online and put on my info. Let's see what it cranked out together. This website's stupid. Ching Shi was a Chinese pirate leader who commanded over 1,800 ships manned by 80,000 pirates in her prime. In 1810, she negotiated a pardon for herself and her fleet, allowing her to keep her loot, and she retired from piracy. Made you a sandwich for the trip. And now some of the mythologies and superstitions believed by pirates. Davy Jones Locker. This was the feared resting place of drowned sailors and pirates. It is believed that Davy Jones, a sea devil or pirate ghost, would trap souls in his locker at the bottom of the sea. A little different than Mikey Jones Locker, one of the kids I went to grade school with. Only thing trapped in his were cookie wrappers and farts. He used to like to fart in his locker and then close the door. Only to punish himself later. Didn't make sense to me either. Pirates also believed in mermaids and sirens, often seeing them as omens. While mermaids could be seen as good omens or a sign of calm seas, sirens were feared for luring sailors to their death with their enchanting music. I tell my wife all the time when she's singing that she sounds like a siren. Not the ones that would lure pirates to their death though, more, more the ones that tell you to get off the road. It is pronounced egregious. The Flying Dutchman, a ghost ship, doomed to sail the oceans forever was a terrible omen. Seeing the Flying Dutchman was believed to foretell disaster or death. I? The Kraken, a gigantic sea monster capable of pulling a ship and its crew beneath the waves, was a common myth among pirates and sailors. Hello, beastie. And finally, Fiddler's Green, a paradise for sailors and pirates. And other delicacies and Green. delights and fishing equipment. Fiddler's Green was a place of eternal mirth, dancing, and relaxation, free from the troubles of the sea. You could have also just stayed on land to avoid the troubles of the sea. Way less scurvy, too, on land. Maybe eat an orange every now and again. Not to breathe a word of our plans to a living soul. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Get Fact. Please subscribe and comment what topic you'd like us to take on next time. I, I hope you learn something. It sounds good in my head. Gonna do with a drinking sailor, in the burning. Man for sale!